okay? When you're in a fight and you're just going, you really don't have time to think. And the worst things you can do entering and exiting out of a takedown is getting paralysis by analysis. So what you have to develop is muscle memory. You have to develop, develop a skill set we are comfortable with, okay? So I showed you 50-50 as a warm-up because I believe in warming up. I, I don't you know, do basketball to warm up for wrestling. I think the greatest conditioning for wrestling is wrestling. I think the greatest warming up for wrestling is wrestling. So we kind of institute little situational drills so we're always getting better at our craft. So that's called pummeling. So if I was to come in and say, hey, let's get in 50-50 and start pummeling, Key, key teaching things, slap yourself in the chest, okay? And as you drive that underhook down, switch your feet and head up, chest up. Get pinky at the elbow, okay, and pinch in. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys do this one more time before we transition to the next thing, and it's gotten 100% better. I think this helped you a lot because a lot of you guys were, you know, not getting in the position of sitting in the chair and you weren't moving your feet. And so for me, it looked just like you were standing straight up. Okay, so th there's a method to all this and we'll tie it all together. But on a break, I want you to go back and do it for a minute or two. But if you're feeling good with this now, I want you to flow with it, okay? And there's a reason for that. When you're flowing, you're gonna feel, okay, your opponent. And eventually, when we're here, what we want to be able to do is be able to lat pull, okay? Move them down, drag. We wanna be able to control the tie and use it in an aggressive way. But if you just get here and you're just thinking too much and you're not paying attention, you'll get thrown. You'll end up getting thrown. Okay, so let's go do it on a break on a, about one minute or so. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Pat Smith, Al Cortez, Hayden. Well, we were back in the Straight Blast Gym uh, in Dublin, Ireland for Bellator in February. And I've got to train with some of the guys from Coach Kavanaugh's team. And a lot of it was Greco. A lot of it was 50-50. And Coach Nelson and I were talking about when Pat Smith comes in, he's a national and world team member uh, in Greco. And Greco's getting really big in MMA now. Not that it always hasn't been, but it's getting even bigger. But when Pat grabs you and he'll, he'll just slightly move his hip and he'll just push you over to the side and you're like, wait a minute, that that's, can't be that easy. Like, and it is. Because his position is based on what I call the circle of balance. Okay, so here's the thing you need to remember. If you have your sh feet shoulder width apart, you're always going to be the circle of balance is really good. Anytime you get out of it, not so good. Okay, the power in all the things you do. So we're going to now go over a, a shot. Does not come from anything other than the ground. What the hell are you talking about, Coach? If I'm going to punch Coach Nelson in the chest with my hips right here, and I don't and I don't move my hips, I'm not going to get much of a strike, am I? What happens if I just move my foot back six inches and this six inches? What am I actually hitting him with now? <coughs> I'm hitting him with the ground. The energy is coming from the hip turns, coming from the ground, my ankle, my knee, my hip, my hip is turning, and the punch is getting delivered with power. Okay? Power. It comes from the ground. If I'm way out of balance like this, what coach could just push me right over? There's nothing I can do about it. So always maintaining a good circle of balance, hugely important. We call it sitting in the chair. So I'm going to blow a whistle, and we call this bumper cars, okay? So your head up, chest up, even an old guy like me can do this, elbows in, okay? And what I'm going to do is practice moving around the mat, okay? Sitting in the chair, okay, I can shuffle, I can go back. I don't want to hit anybody else, that's what they call bumper cars. But what I'm focusing on is staying tight. Okay, it's like, a, it's like in an MMA fight. The guy gets tired, his hands are down. He's asked just to get hit. You always have to stay tight. You have to stay in your position. And in wrestling, the idea is to wear the head down. Lower back gets tired. You wear it down. All of a sudden here, he gets higher and higher and boom, opens up shots. Okay, so we're going to work on position. All right, I'm going to blow a whistle for about one minute. I want elbows in. Head up, chest up, meaning here, okay? Now, my footwork. I'm not doing this. Okay, I'm gonna stay nice and tight here. Move around, and eventually then you can explode on your takedowns and then come up. All right, so let's just give it a try for one minute. 